And hundreds of viewers have been sending in questions about the COVID-19 outbreak and we're working to answer them with the facts, not fear. Joining us today, Dr. Kevin Steffen, an infectious disease specialist right here in the Valley. Dr. Steffen, it's great to have you with us. Thanks so much. Thank you, Triumph. Good to be here. Here's our first question for you about the virus is about how All the right. virus is spread. Can I get COVID-19 by swimming in the same pool as someone who is sick? Really, it's uh, transmitted by body secretions and, uh, you know, transmitting through the air and, and infected items. But, you know, first of all, there's chlorine in the pool. And second of all, the dilution into the water would be such that you wouldn't have any problems with uh, being infected that way. OK, good to know. Our next viewer question is about testing. Here it is. If I think I might have been exposed, will I test positive for the virus that same day? No, unfortunately, the virus has an incubation period where once you are exposed and infected, uh, in order to be detec detected, the virus has to grow up in your body large enough quantities to be detected. The, the nasal swabs that are commonly being used, it's probably at least two days after you're exposed, maybe up to a week or so. Uh, and then the blood tests can take several weeks to turn positive after you've been infected. All right, let's get to our last question now. If I have recovered from the virus, am I still contagious? Well, we are seeing, uh, definitely seeing reports of people who are feeling well uh, and uh, yet are still continuing to be potentially infectious because we can detect the virus in their nose if we repeat the swabs. Uh, people have been deferred, for instance, from donating plasma, even though it's been reported that people who've had the virus and, and uh, can give their plasma, that might be a life-saving treatment for others. Uh, they've been deferred from being able to donate because of the fact that uh, they are still shedding the virus or it's still detectable. So uh, we don't know exactly how long people are going to be contagious after they feel better. So there's still some caution that's in order there. All right, Dr. Stefan, it's great to have you. Thank you so much for your time. Remember, we want to answer your questions, so please post them on our 12 News Facebook page or text us 602-444-1212. You can also download the 12 News app for all the facts, not fear information on the coronavirus.